Lately, there has been a lot of doom and gloom about the future of AM radio, with people predicting its impending demise, because in recent years, many AM radio stations have been adding FM simulcasts. 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. It's about time. Or going off the air entirely. Absolute radio is no longer available on this frequency. We're no longer broadcasting on AM. And more and more automakers are discontinuing AM radio tuners from their new vehicles. Car makers are dropping AM radio from many new electric vehicles because interference causes annoying static that makes the signal almost unlistenable. So that made it all the more surprising when the ratings for New York City, the number one radio market in the USA, for January 2023 were released. And the number one most listened to morning show on the radio is not the Z Morning Zoo. It's not Light FM, it's not CBS FM, especially now that Scott Shannon has retired. It turns out the top-rated morning radio show in New York City is AM talk station WABC, with a rating share over two points higher than the next most listened to station. This is New York's talk leader, the crown jewel of talk radio, WABC New York. Talk radio has long been considered the savior of the AM band, because even as most music listening moved to FM in the 1980s due to its higher fidelity stereo sound, AM stations were able to remain viable by switching to news, talk, and sports programming. Technology is forcing change. FM radios are now popular equipment in most cars and homes. It's a clear, high-frequency band with high-fidelity stereo perfect for music. AM stations are turning to talk just as WABC did back in 1982. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, New York, to Talk Radio 77. Many of the people who began listening to Talk Radio back in the 80s and 90s are still listening to it today. And you may think it's great to have such a loyal audience, but that also means it's an old audience. 75% of the people listening to WABC are age 55 and older, and less than 10% are under the age of 50. But they're not alone. Broadcast radio in general is attracting an older audience these days, as the younger generations are increasingly switching to streaming and podcasts. That's why some of the highest rated FM music formats are classic rock and what used to be called oldies, but it's now mostly playing music from the 1980s. And in case you haven't noticed, there are a hell of a lot of old people around, and they have a lot of money to spend. So you'd think these radio stations would be raking in the dough. But the problem isn't attracting listeners, it's attracting advertisers. They've historically shied away from older demographics because they consider old people to be stuck in their ways and unlikely to be swayed by advertising as easily as younger people are. But in WABC's case, it helps that they're owned by a billionaire New York City businessman who unsuccessfully ran for political office. No, not either of the ones you may be thinking of, but rather John Katsimatidis, better known as Katz. He not only owns the station, but also co-hosts its evening drive time show, Cats and Cosby. You're commuting home with Cats and Cosby. Now, here's John Katsimatidis and Rita Cosby on 77 WABC. So even if WABC isn't making so much money from advertising, he probably considers it to be a great self-promotional tool to be broadcasting himself on a legendary 50,000-watt radio station that's number one in the ratings in New York City. Hi, this is John Casamitidis Jr. Make sure to get my dad's new book, How Far Do You Want to Go? Lessons from a Common Sense Billionaire. I'm lucky enough to learn from him every day, and now you can too. Read my book, and you'll find out how to make your first billion. And even if I don't agree with the political views expressed by most of WABC's programming, I do appreciate the fact that they're one of the few radio stations in the city that never sleeps that has a live, late-night call-in talk show. And I think if radio wants to remain relevant, it has to be live and local, informing, entertaining, and engaging listeners in ways that streaming and podcasts can't. And just like the 1967 General Electric radio I've been using in this video, maybe a radio still has some life left to it despite what howard stern said almost 40 years ago nobody listens to am anymore no that's not true it's almost impossible to get people to listen to am radio Mm -hmm. there's so much static you can't hear it i mean it's true you listen to the music there's static and my voice is static 